Hey guys, it's Kerry. Some interesting Chinese animals. Red panda with their bushy tail for balance, which can be as long as their body, and claws for gripping. Red pandas are definitely acrobatic tree dwellers. During the mating season, there is much chirping and twittering by both sexes. They will interact and groom each other during their courtship for several hours prior to copulation. The male continuously checks her genital area, urine and feces to determine if she is receptive. The female initiates mating by flicking her tail, inviting the male to mount her. The mating process can last from 3 to 40 minutes. The male has a short backward facing S-shaped penis which is 5 centimeters. Chinese alligator. The hatchlings are very similar to the adults with the exception that they have distinctive yellow bands along their bodies. Males can grow up to 2.2 meters long. Average length is one and a half meters. Chinese alligators are dormant from late fall into early spring when temperatures are cool. They create burrows in the banks of wetlands. As they are ectotherms and cannot create their own heat, they spend time basking in the sun to raise their body temperature. They have four short claw-tipped limbs with five partially webbed toes on each limb. Their long thick tail provides a primary locomotive force in the water. They have osteoderms, dermal bone lying over the epidermis used as armour covering both the back and the underside of the body. In this species, the snout is slightly upturned. Leopard. There are three subspecies occurring in China. The Amur leopard, Indo-Chinese leopard and the North Chinese leopard. The Amur leopard is found in northeastern China and southeastern Russia. Results of genetic research indicate that the Amur leopard is genetically close to leopards in northern China and Korea suggesting that the leopard population in this region became fragmented in the early 20th century. The Indo-Chinese leopard is a subspecies native to mainland South China and Southeast Asia in protected areas. The Indo-Chinese leopard skin is almost a rusty red in ground colour but much paler on the sides. The North Chinese leopard is native to northern China. Its prey base consists of wild boar and deer, but like any other leopard, it will eat almost anything it can catch, including birds, rodents, and even insects. It is about the same size as its northern cousin, the Amur leopard. It also has similar fur coloration and density, although it is a little darker and shorter. The average weight in the wild is 50 kilograms. Wolf? There are two subspecies of the grey wolf in China. The Eurasian wolf and the Tibetan wolf. Black wolves in Tibet are known locally as Chanko Nagpo and these wolves are considered bolder and more aggressive than their pale coloured cousins. China's wolf population 
largely lives in areas where little human influence change has occurred. The Tibetan Plateau and the Mongolian Plateau and the Northeast Plain. The Tibetan wolf is the same as the Himalayan wolf. They are found all over Tibet. They prey on domestic goats, sheep, yaks, horses, wild yaks, antelope, whatever they can get hold of. They grow to 110 centimetres in length and height is 76 centimetres. The Eurasian wolf averages up to 39 kilograms in weight, although some exceptionally large ones have been known to be 79 kilograms. This varies according to the region and the abundance and size of prey. Its fur is relatively short and coarse. It is found in eastern China. They measure 76 centimetres at the shoulder and weigh around 59 kilograms. Eurasian wolves are highly social animals, though due to a decline in territory, they have smaller packs. The heaviest known Eurasian wolf was killed in Romania and weighed 72 kilograms. Grafalski's horse. It is the only true extant wild horse in the world today. At one time they were extinct in the wild but have been reintroduced to the native habitat in Mongolia. has a massive head with a long face and powerful jaw. It is the closest living relative of the domestic horse. They are stocky, short and pot-bellied in comparison with other horses with a spiky mane like a zebra and striped legs like the Somali wild ass. Their ears have dark rims. Snub-nosed monkey family. China is a country of vast diversity. Its seven eco-regions spanning misty mountain ranges, rice terraces and great rivers. Please stay and watch another video with me. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.